If you handle sensitive files or just don't want anyone accessing your personal data, then having secure cloud storage is just non-negotiable. The truth is, some of the popular options aren't as secure as they want you to believe. The good news is, I found the best options for security and privacy, and I'm sharing them all with you in this video. Welcome back. Today, we're diving into the best defense for your files. And I'm talking top level privacy, best in class security and companies that never mishandle your data. I've got five top options for you. All of them tick the secure box and they also have other features which I know you'll like as well. First, let's talk Mega. It's a company that's been on a long journey to improve its security measures. You see, it's had a rocky path over the years, mainly due to a former owner with a rather sketchy past. But these days, it's under new ownership and it's proven itself to be one of the most secure cloud storage services around. I'm gonna begin with its data centers because they do impact how secure and private your files are. For example, someone using US data centers won't enjoy the same stringent level of privacy laws as someone in Switzerland. That's mainly due to the US being very lax when it comes to its privacy laws and its law enforcement can actually request access to your data. The good news is that Mega has data centers all around the world. Okay, the bad news is that unlike other services, you can select where your data is stored. Basically, how it works is your data will be stored at a center that's geographically closest to your location. I've got other options coming up that offer more flexibility, so stick around. Those of you who regularly watch my channel know how much we value zero knowledge encryption. Okay, it's an absolute must if I'm going to recommend a secure service. Mega takes this box and offers it across all of its plans so your files have the best protection. If you're thinking, hey, Alex, what's zero knowledge encryption? Let me explain. Zero knowledge gives a user full control over their encryption keys and passwords. So nobody else can access their data, not even the cloud service itself, okay? It's like a postal service that handles your sealed envelope without having the power to peek in and open it. And keep in mind that zero knowledge encryption can make it difficult to actually recover your data if you lose your password. Why is this? Basically, several zero-knowledge services don't have the ability to help you recover a lost password. Mega does give you the option to activate password recovery. You don't have to give up your encryption keys either, which is great. Basically, what you do is download a recovery file and follow the process to recover your password. Honestly though, if I was you, I'd just use a password manager so you don't have to worry about all of this. I want to talk about GDPR. Okay, I know some of you may not know what that is exactly, so let me quickly explain. GDPR, or General Data Protection Regulation, is a set of regulations created by the European Union. And if this is all alien to you, let me explain. GDPR is a set of principles that ensures user data is processed fairly and transparently by the service provider. It also gives the user the right to have their data removed without having to jump through all these extra hoops to get that service to comply. And any company that doesn't play ball can be hit really hard with harsh fines. So the power really is in your hands. Awesome! How does all that relate to Mega though? Well, although it technically doesn't have to, Mega extends GDPR practices to everyone and not just customers living within the EU. And I like that, I like that a lot because it shows to me that the company really does value its customers' privacy. For any of you planning to share files, there are some good features here too. You can add a password to your shared links, add expiry dates, and set standard user permissions. Standard security like 256-bit AES encryption and TLS protocols are in place to protect your files, so no worries here. Mega has two-factor authentication as well, making it hard for people to access your account without access to an authentication app or your cell phone. FYI, that's true for every platform in this video. All in all, Mega has robust security and it's a good cloud service all around. Personally, I want to see improvements to its design and more collaboration features in the future. 
but that's a topic for another video. Okay, friends, next I have P Cloud. Honestly, I love P Cloud for so many reasons. It's awesome for storing, sharing, and interfacing with my files. But is it secure? Of course it is. Right off the bat, let me tell you, it comes with a zero knowledge encryption, so no snooping in on your personal data. The only downside is that unlike Mega and the next service coming up, you have to pay extra for this future. I don't think I can roll my eyes hard enough to show you how much this disappoints me. Trying to go back, it doesn't go further. But at least it's available, unlike with some of the bigger services such as Google, OneDrive, and Dropbox. P Cloud is a little different to most zero knowledge providers. You see, you can choose which files you want to have zero knowledge encryption on. Now, I know what you're thinking why wouldn't I want all of them to have zero knowledge encryption? Well, the simple answer is files without it are slightly easier to access enabling things like file previews too. In real world use, you may want to add zero knowledge to your financial statements, but happy to leave that photo of you on your birthday with just standard encryption. Really, it's up to you and I like that P Cloud gives us that option. To make it more difficult for hackers to access your files and to protect them in the event of a server going down, P Cloud stores your data on five or more different servers across three regions. So in the unlikely event of one of them being destroyed, four other servers are still backing up your data. pCloud uses all the good stuff for protecting your files. 256 AES encryption and TLS encryption are in place and you can password protect your files if you share them. Come close, closer, and pay close attention to this next bit because it's really important. pCloud has two data center locations and they are in the United States and the European Union. And when you create an account, you get to choose where you want pCloud to store your data. You can change this though after you've signed up. Those in the American continent may be tempted to choose the United States. You know, this makes sense as it can offer better speeds and performance when you're close to where your files are actually stored. But unlike Mega, pCloud unfortunately doesn't extend GDPR policies to anyone outside the EU. And like I said already, the United States isn't the best when it comes to privacy. Sorry, but you see federal laws in the States don't really put pressure on companies to process your data fairly and honestly. Some states have better policies like California, but that is just one of 50 states. Honestly, I try to stay away from the United States when it comes to handling my data. pCloud also has plenty of cool tools outside of its security features. I especially like the native media player, which is great for watching videos and listening to my favorite songs. I'll drop a link to our full review down in the description below, so check it out. Next up, iDrive. Now iDrive has zero knowledge encryption, but it's important to note, you must activate it when you set up your account. If you don't, there's no way to go back and make changes. You just you know, have to set it up in the beginning or use another account with different details. The data centers, they're in the United States. That said, as long as you activate zero knowledge during account creation, the contents of your files will be safe no matter where they're stored. On the software side of things, iDrive uses 256-bit AES encryption, both when you upload your files and when they rest on the servers. You've also got two-factor on all plans and the team and business plans offer single sign-on as well. Okay, before I move into my favorite option, I wanna share one more, iStrive. Okay, we've been big fans of the platform for a while, mainly because it's a beautiful platform to use, but what's it doing in terms of keeping your data safe? Well, first off, it's a zero knowledge platform, but only on paid plans. Sorry, free users. Now, one standout difference with iStrive is its use of encryption. Instead of using AES, which you'll see on most services, it uses TwoFish instead. TwoFish supports 256-bit keys, but it doesn't cover 128 and 192-bit. Look, I could likely make a whole separate video on their differences and which one is a better one. But to not overfry your brain, both AES and TwoFish are extremely secure. Okay, some industry experts claim AES ensures smoother, faster performance, but 
I can debunk this as in my second speed test, iDrive is number one when it comes to getting your files to and from the cloud. Two-factor authentication or 2FA is also available for your files and choose which files you want to have zero knowledge encryption and which ones you don't. Keep in mind, those that have it won't have file previews, so you'd need to download them to see the contents. For quick access to non-sensitive data, it's best to keep them outside of the encryption folder. Sync.com is my final option and it's the best as well. It's a very easy one to use and it's often the first platform I recommend to anyone new to cloud storage. It offers zero knowledge encryption as part of all its plans. There are no hidden fees and even all you free users, yeah, looking at you, you can get this level of privacy for your files. And like Mega, you can choose to have password recovery. Sync.com does say password recovery is managed by an automated system and not humans. So really, no Nobody can access your data. I trust them. They've always been reliable, but like I've said before, you can use a password manager if you don't want to give anything up to the service. The company's headquarters are in Canada. And I'm telling you this because it means it has to adhere to Canada's privacy regulations, which they call Personal Information Protection and Electronic Documents Act, PIPEDA for short. Unfortunately, these regulations mainly apply to you if you're a Canadian citizen. How your personal data is processed by a private company is largely down to where they're located or you're located. Good news is that since sync.com blankets all your files with zero knowledge encryption, there's not much they can hand over. The Canadian government's approach to user privacy is a mixed bag. Okay, it certainly puts measures in place that gives me confidence that it cares about protecting user information, but it has its flaws, which I will cover shortly. When it comes to protecting user data, its privacy laws hold private companies accountable when it comes to processing user data, so they can do as they please with your information. It's not too dissimilar from GDPR, but there are some key differences. You see, PIP EDA, and this is where the flaws begin to really appear, the regulations don't apply to public sector organizations. The government, in other words. GDPR does cover the public sector. It also covers non-commercial businesses with PIP EDA doesn't. Non-commercial is not for profit, meaning charities and other similar organizations. By the way, I reached out to sync.com to see if it extended GDPR to say it's global user, like Mega does. An agent confirmed that they don't, and it's only applicable to EU residents. If you're a healthcare professional, I have good news. Okay, sync.com is fully HIPAA compliant. And if you don't know what that is, let me explain. Basically, sync.com has the ability to offer a secure platform suitable for storing healthcare data. Slight disclaimer though, its ability to be compliant largely comes down to the user following the best practices when it comes to handling medical information. I've gotta say, it's not all golden glory though when it comes to sync.com. Sorry, sync.com. The drawback to robust security is it often impacts performance. Now, sync.com isn't the slowest cloud storage I've ever tested, but it's pretty mediocre. It's slower than both Mega and pCloud, and certainly won't be making it into our ranking of the fastest providers anytime soon. But if you ask me, a reduction in speed is a small price to pay for having the most secure cloud storage around. Hmm? And unlike some hyper-secure services, Sync.com still lets you collaborate on documents and integrate with Office tools from Microsoft. So it quickly becomes more than just, you know, a home for your files. Beyond the free plan, you also get a 30-day money-back guarantee with Sync.com. So I say, give it a go, what do you have to lose? Right? I'll drop a link down in the description for any of you that want to sign up. I'll quickly cover pricing for you now so you know where to get the best value. They've all got free plans, which is good news. Probably not enough storage for anyone other than light to moderate users though. But take a look. All of them offer two terabyte plans, which you can pay for annually. I recommend doing this because it's going to give you the best value. You can get them all for around eight bucks a month, which I think is a pretty sweet deal. On this plan, Mega and P Cloud come in at around $830 per month. 
okay, and sync.com is cheaper, working out to eight bucks a month. That's a sweet deal. P Cloud is a little different to the others because it also offers lifetime plans. That's right, a one time payment for lifetime access. You get two terabytes of space, and currently that's gonna cost you $399. Is it worth it? Well, that depends how much storage you need and how long you need it for. But if you're a lifetime user, it certainly is a good deal, right? I leave links in the description so you can see all the pricing options for these services. So check them out. And hey, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by actually signing up for a free sync.com account as it gives us a small kickback. I'll drop the link down in the description. Right. That's it for another video and I hope you found the most secure cloud storage for you. I'm curious though, which ones are you choosing? Okay, I really want to know, so let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and tap the bell icon. I'll see you in the next one.